Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the dual lens and the quad lens helmets introduced as part of the Smuggler's Run DLC in GTA Online. So let's get right to it shall we? So to begin, to buy these helmets all you have to do is go to any clothing store which sells hats. Scroll down to combat helmets and BAM! There you have it, a whole bunch of dual lens and quad lens camo choices to choose from. All for the relatively cheap price of under $100,000 considering how useful these things can be. I went ahead and bought both of them and then figured out how to turn these damn things on. These things are pretty darn cool but can be quite a faff on to manage if you want to have them activated or not. To put them on you go to your interaction menu, go to style, accessories and then when you're in helmets scroll to your character who's wearing them and then press this button on the bottom right of the screen to activate the goggles. The night vision is pretty cool but the thermal goggles are where it's at dude. Look at this I can see everything. And by everything I mean everything but the ground that I'm walking on. But before we get to that let me just run over a few things that the goggles can and can't do. What you can do with the goggles if you want to quickly turn them on or off or more precisely, look through the lens or not, is that you can hold F11 on the keyboard if you're on PC, or hold right on the D-pad for console to toggle you having the lens over your eyes or not. This is a pretty quick and effective way to turn them on and off, but I don't really bother with this because if you get in any car or aircraft, the helmet will immediately unequip, and when you get back out again, the visual effect that the goggles offer won't work at all until you go back into the interaction menu again to turn those suckers back on. And when you've put the lens back up, that adds an extra layer of faffing around making sure that the goggles are indeed turned on and not just in a state where you think they're on and you try and put them on, but they don't work. So this ultimately makes you go back to the goddamn menu again. Yeah, I don't really bother with putting the lens up and down. I either have it equipped and on or no helmet at all. It saves quite a bit of faffing around, trust me. While wearing these goggles, you can still look down an advanced scope of a sniper rifle, which completely obsoletes the thermal night vision scopes that you can buy for them. Although I mentioned that the helmet can't be used in cars and aircraft, it can however be used on bikes, more specifically the oppressor, which basically makes you predator but with wings and missiles I guess. Yeah, the limited vision really does become a problem while wearing these on an oppressor, but to be fair, that's about the only downside to wearing these things, because otherwise you can see every single living thing through walls, like you have wall hacks or something. You can see when players are going to pop around corners to try and take you out, and worst of all, oh Jesus, you can use it in death matches. What the holy hell was Rockstar thinking? Were they off of their meds when they came off with this? Yeah, you can use your thermal goggles at any time during a deathmatch, giving you an enormous advantage over others that aren't wearing the goggles. You'll be the most hated person in the game, but hey, screw it, I'm technically not cheating, so why the hell not? These goggles absolutely break deathmatches in half, and are the ultimate noob's way of getting good. But no matter how many times people are going to be shouting out and saying, Oh, follow the rules. No, take those goddamn things off. There's always going to be one guy using these things in a deathmatch, and you can only imagine the frustration that this is going to cause to legitimate players who want to have a clean and fair match. I felt bad doing this for this video just to record it, but hey, look at my kill death ratio, bitches. Yeah, totally 100% legit. Pure skill, FaZe Clan Pro. And if you want to revel in my mad skills in future videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, everyone.